All right, so let's let's get into this, man. Hold on, right quick. Trucker Will in the building. What's good, y'all? Man, What's we, good? We, 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 ain't wasting, we ain't wasting no time, my guy. We ain't wasting no time. So, what what what's going on, man? We we talking about controversial company Super Eagle. Let, let me just say this, man. I, I I'm damned if I do or damned if I don't, bro. I mean. I got plenty of people that hit me up in the comment session all the time that tells me, yo, lockout, why you uh, why you bringing people on here that doing this, that, and the third? Why you not bringing people on here that's telling the real? Now when I'm bringing people on there telling their story about how they making it real, it, it, it's, still, it's still a problem. Like, what's going on, my guy? Talk to me. All right, man. So... Really, really what it is is that everybody is sold a dream. You go to trucking school, and the first thing is you see all these beautiful trucks, and you're like, man, I want to make all this money. But the reality is nobody wants to take the sacrifice. It takes sacrifice to get money, and everybody wants, you know, instant gratification. So when you, you know, everybody's going to tell their story, and the biggest thing with the controversial company that you're referring to is they're selling them the glitz, the glamour, the truck. You're going to be this big old owner operator. You're going to own your truck. You're going to own this trailer. But they don't tell them about the dark side of it. And the dark side of it is, is it's going to cost a lot of money. What they say, it costs money to make money. You got to invest in yourself to be able to get down the road to get your next load to get paid. So when I started, I started back. Oh my God, it seems like forever ago. I started at England. This is back when it was 14 cents a mile. And I'm like, man, I want to own a truck. I want to do this. But you had to take your lumps, as you would call it. And 14 cents a mile is no money. I mean, I teamed with one of my buddies, and me and him drive to this day. He's a, he's at the same company that I am that I'm at, and we had to take our lumps. You're talking running two and 3,000 miles, making like two, $300, and we both got wives and we both got kids and stuff like that. But we have to do our work to be able to get to our ultimate goal. We're both lease operators now, and I've been driving almost seven years. And when you go over this, to this company, they don't have their LLC established. They don't have any, uh, they don't have any equity established or be able to get capital. So when you go over here and, like, I want to be an owner-operator, nobody tells them that the tires is going to cost you $600, the uh, drive tires, the oil, uh, a PM. They don't tell them none of that. So they have no capital. They give them a truck and say, here, go make money. And then they have not, they have no idea what what lane, how to fuel a truck, what the maintenance costs, what it costs for a breakdown, what costs for a roadside call, what it costs to get towed with the tractor and the trailer, what a dozer valve costs, what a turbo costs. They don't know none of that. So like what you were talking about earlier, with um these this uh the one of the ladies went over there and she was like expecting to get all this help. They're expecting you to know what you're doing. They don't like. They're not going to sit there and hold your hand. You refer to Prime. Prime holds your hand, but they also say they also give you the tools and they allow you to sharpen your tools to get on the road to be able to get to the ultimate goal of owning your own truck. There's multiple people you can talk. You can talk about um, what I'll give you a prime example. Uh, Lyle from No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. He owns multiple trucks. He's the prime example of somebody taking his lumps, being a lease operator, and then going to owning trucks. And did he go anywhere else? No, he stayed where he was going to get the help because at the end of the day, everybody's like, I want to be an owner-operator. I want to be this this big owner, but nobody wants the responsibilities of being this owner. That's that's what it is. Everybody wants the money, but nobody wants the responsibilities of, of being an owner. That's what it is. I mean, we both love this Jack Gates character, this Wolf of Wall Street. It's brilliant. Oh. Man, man, Trucker Real coming in the building right off the bat, man. That's crazy. All right, so let's unpack this, man. So I I, I agree with you. I, I, I totally agree with you. I believe that a lot of these people that's coming in, uh, they've been sold a dream. They, 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 they coming in thinking that they're going to be millionaires right off the bat. And they feel that controversial company, Super Eagle, would, would, would get them on that road. But again, like you said, they don't, they, 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 they don't understand. They don't know. They don't, they don't understand the process. They don't know uh, 
how to get there. They come there broke. They come there uh, not ready. They they come there not knowing. I, I, I talk to a lot of owner operators. Uh, they tell me right off the rip, like, before you even think about owning a truck, you got to at least have about 50 Gs in the bank. How you gonna? <laughs> yes. how, how, how you gonna go over to? How you gonna go over the controversial company Super Eagle, bro, bro? But he, you said, he said they he said they need to stop that. And this is all conversations behind the uh, behind the walls and not on the air. But they 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 come in and they tell me they be like, bro, I listen to your podcast and I listen to everybody's stories. But I, I don't get it. Why why are they going over there, bro? Why are they going over there inexperienced? I said, man, listen, that's that's their stories. They want to tell it. And and like I said before, there are drivers over at that company that are winning. And and like mm-hmm. I said, the 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 one guy, the, the guy that was on the podcast last said that he went over there with his own truck. He knew from the offset what Super Ego was about. But he 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 said no, nah, I'm I'm not doing it this way. I'm going to do it that way. And see, that's what a lot of people don't seem to figure. They don't have the help. They don't have the know how. They don't have the knowledge. And I I I you just want- I just like I said for me, when they come on and tell their stories, that's just what it is. It's their story. They're not coming on the podcast to be like. Oh, okay, well, uh, don't do this and don't do that. I mean, they'll probably say it within their story, but still, you 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 just come and listen to what happened, what happened with them in their situation. You know, the biggest thing that all the people, because I, I mean, I'll be watching, I'll be listening to your your podcast. The biggest thing that I hear is that everybody has, you know. Um, inspiration they have they have a drive like you said they're coming into the industry broke all right so if you're coming into the industry broke we all have a story with that story we need to have a base and you look at any entrepreneur any person that's got a significant amount of money they will always say it's better to use somebody else's money for you to make money so if you're starting out step one start out with a company if you want to make money don't smoke don't drink it's a federal job. I mean, you you gonna make you gonna make your money. You can do that later on when you got your own. So throw that crap down. Secondly, get with a company that's going to Sweet. help you get your LLC established. <laughs> you know, don't smoke, don't drink. Then the next step will be get your LLC, get your LLC started. Get with a company that's going to help you and put point you in the right direction, sharpen your tools. That's why I say, you know, everybody has their prime as this bad company, but I guarantee you, you look out here, prime is the only company, and I, I don't get paid for nothing from prime. Only thing I do is pull freight, but prime is the only company out here that's going to set you up to win. They give you a turnkey business a truck that's got a warranty and then most people don't even realize that you you can you can run your for 30 days and then you run that truck for three years they most people don't know you get a lease completion bonus that they give back to you if you stay committed if you commit you're going to make your money most of them making 17k at the end of their lease so after three years you know what you got to do you know what you got to go you know the lanes you know the highways most insurance companies don't necessarily care about your experience. They're more concerned about how many winters you have underneath your belt. Not how, many, how much experience, how, much, how many winters you have underneath your belt. So they know that you can handle this truck when it's on 80, going down Donna Pass or going through Vail Pass or on the 90. You know, those are the conversations that need to be had. And you talk to any old school driver, they'll tell you, you know, this is what you need. But 50K is about what you need. But if you want to do it the right way, get you your LLC, have your LLC established for at least one to two years, then you can go get capital and get your capital, get a credit card for twenty, thirty thousand, and then you have that in your back pocket. So then when you want to go over here and go to Super Ego and you have a breakdown, you ain't got to call nobody. You can pay for your toll, you can pay for your tire, and then you can build your credit so that when you want to go get your own truck, you already have established credit. You're already established. But you can't put the cart before the horse. You got to put the horse before the cart and take your lumps, man. That's what you got to do.
That's slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady, yes, sir. Slow and steady, man. Okay, so that trucker will, man. What, what do you, what do you, what, what do you say about the people that's that's going into these companies with without that experience? And I, again, I I think as well as uh, as anonymous, I, I think four months is is just not enough time. It, it's not. No, you're, you're not. No. It's not enough no. time. Four months is like coming out. You 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 driving with Swift, and not to put Swift under because Swift is beginning to be to be a powerhouse now. I mean, I I I'm, I'm not. Yeah, talking they about, is. They buying up everything. Yeah, I'm not talking about Swift no more. We, they buying we, up everything. Yeah, we ain't putting Swift in a in in a doghouse no more. I mean, Swift is coming out swinging. They they. They they starting people off at seventy cent a mile on some accounts, man. So uh, we, right. we can't we can't talk about Swift drivers no more because they 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 look like they making bank over there. But what I'm saying is, if they start at Swift and they want to level up to another company, say like Bar None or, or Snyder, that's four months. That's all they need. They they still wet behind the ears. I, I don't think that they still were behind the ears, right? Um, I, I or what they call I, greenhorns. Old yeah, greenhorns. Call them greenhorns. Yeah, greenhorns. I, I don't think that that's enough time to establish yourself as as you, well. That's enough time to establish yourself as a professional driver, but not establish yourself as as a truck owner. What do you think? No, not no. Four months is not nearly enough. Um, I would tell anybody that's coming into the game, I mean, I'm still, I'm not a greenhorn, but I've been out here for a little bit. I would say give yourself at least a year. Stack your go up, invest your money, and then come out and be like, all right, let me see what, let me see what I can do. But you come into the game with four months, you're asking for a year behind to get handed to you. You asking for to lose everything because i mean you're not you're not ready i can i can sit here and say all right how are you going to get to uh how are you going to get to california and you don't want to go over 80 you don't want to go through donna pass and there's a snowstorm uh veteran drivers will say well you can say you can you can drop down take the 40 take the 40 all the way across take the i-5 what if you got to go to salt lake city i was talking to a driver about this the other day and you coming out of ohio but 80s 80s closed you don't want to take 70 all right so what are you going to do you want to make that load on time what are you going to do uh, 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 an experienced driver is going to be like well i'm gonna just go over 80 okay now you're stuck on 80 for four days now you're now you're you're your fuel tank is frozen because you didn't know that you had to put diesel treatment in there. Oh, you don't have the the, the snow socks. You don't have the chains. Oh, you don't you don't know none of that. An experienced driver is gonna say, "No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down to the 40, go over there to Gallup, then come up uh, 191, come up through Port, uh, come up through Prince, and now I'm in Salt Lake City, and I didn't even have to go over 80. But that's experience. Young cats ain't gonna know that. They they don't know about what G, uh, what GPS is gonna get them to the the correct the correct spot and help them navigate. They just oh I'm pointed in and they don't pay attention. Oh don't go down this way because it looks like a dang one residential neighborhood. Oh watch the bridge. Don't don't go on the parkways in New York. You're gonna cut your truck off. You're gonna be on bonehead truckers. You have to have time. You know time you know you, you want a good steak what do they say let the steak marinate you know let it let it marinate get the juices in before it's it's great it's good it's juicy it's succulent but it takes time ain't nobody ain't <laughs> you got everybody's everybody's in a rush yo and you don't have to be a, in a rush the one of the things out here in the in the game is hurry up and wait so you want to hurry up and wait or do you want to hurry up and succeed but Nobody got successful rushing to it. Nobody got rich rushing to the end. You can try to, you know, m manipulate your way through and, you know, dodge all the little bumps and bruises, but it's going to take time. And time, and we don't have a lot of time on this planet, on this earth, but you got to use your time wisely and learn as much as you can about the game. Learn as much as you can about the industry. You know, I've watched so many different people, so many different stories. It's like, man, why are they, why are they going through all this? Yeah, there's two guys that I, that I follow that are being successful over there, but you don't know their backstory. 
they don't tell their backstory and why they're able to be successful over there. They don't tell that. They just say, well, I'm successful over here. What's your backstory? What are you doing on the side if you're not really making money? You know, what, what agreements did you make for you to be successful that you're not telling the other drivers that are over there to be successful? You know, what are you, what are you doing? They don't tell you that. They only show a, por- a portion of the, of the grind and the hustle. They, just, they don't show their whole grind and their whole hustle. They don't show it. So you got to be time. You know, um, slow and steady wins the race. Ain't nobody. Rome wasn't built in a day. It, it really wasn't. The Wolf of Wall Street. When some veteran drivers um, tell their bad story a little bit, tell me why new drivers or modern drivers get mad at them for not telling them the whole story. Like, it's like, oh, okay, well, you, you, you did this and you did that. How did you do it? How did you do that? And the veteran drivers is like, look, man, I'll just give you a little bit of the nugget. I'm, I'm not going to give you everything. And they get mad at that. Why, why, would veteran dri- why would veteran drivers give half the, half the nuggets? And why would the modern drivers get mad at them for not giving them everything? I think that it's... You ever heard the saying like, man, how did you make a million dollars? And it's like, it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of patience. Yeah, but how did you get there? Everybody wants the blueprint, but not everybody, not my way. The way that I did it is not necessarily going to work the way that you did it. You may have access to a family member that can go buy you a truck. Then you might have an uncle that can help you run it. Um, I think that they give them the little, little nuggets to get them inspired and be like, yeah, go ahead. Here's, here's, a, here's a little bit, but you got to find your own way because I found it my own way. You definitely can find it your way too. We're all big boys out here, big boys and big girls. We all, we all got to throw big boy draws on to get out here and, and, and run. I, did, I had to learn my way. You have to learn your way. You have to learn your way. If somebody comes up to me and says, man, I'm, I'm a new driver. What do you, you know, I want to get into owning my own truck. My first question is how many years of experience do you have? They'd be like, oh, I, I just started. I said, wait a year. They'd be like, why wait a year? I said, do you, know any, do you know anything about the highway system? Do you know anything about New York? Do you know anything about anything trucking? No, I just know how to drive straight. Okay, do you know how to back up? There's, there's a place in um, West Virginia called Buzz Products. It's impeccably difficult to back into. You got to know how to back this truck better than you back a car. It's freaking long as crap and you don't realize how long this truck is until you get out and you're going to the truck stop to go get some coffee dang this truck is long and you got to put it in spots that are that are tight like real tight so even some places that don't even (laughs) that that even that don't even uh, it's not even built for trucks those places right those places, right. not even that's that's not even built for trucks. You gotta, you gotta make miracles happen. All right, trucker real right. man. Listen, listen. There's a there's a thing that's going on right now with uh with Jay Z, one of my favorite uh, hip hop artists. I follow Jay Z right. from the beginning, from uh, Reasonable Doubt all the way up to uh to the album for uh, or the Carters or the Forty Four or whatever whatever new album he got. Uh, last album we got, I, I I'm up on it, man. There's a there's okay. a thing that's going on right now, and everybody wants to know: Would you take uh, 500k or dinner mm-hmm. with Jay Z? What before before I give you mine and what Jay Z said? What what would you do? Well, there's two caveats to that. You could have a dinner with somebody. No caveat. Straight question. <laughs> 500K, 500K or dinner with Jay-Z? Which one? I'm, I'm taking the 500K. Facts. Okay. So that's, that's what Jay-Z said. Jay-Z said, yo, take the 500K and buy my albums. He said, he said the blueprint is already there. He said it's already yeah. in the catalog. You, you, you don't need a dinner with me to tell you the game. 
There's something interesting online, Jay. I'd love to hear what you think about this. If you had a choice between getting paid $500,000 in cash or lunch with Jay-Z, yeah. which would you choose? You got to take, take the money. What, you gonna, what I'm going to say? Yeah, you know I mean, everything now I'm going to say. No, everything? no, only because people say, of course you take, you take lunch with Jay-Z because the wisdom that you would get from him would, would be so uh, beneficial to you. There would yeah. only be a matter. You but, would take the money. Yeah, because you, you got the you got all that in the music for for ten ninety nine. That's a that's a bad deal. I would I wouldn't tell you to cut a bad deal. Like I don't take know. the five hundred thousand, go buy some albums and listen to the albums. <laughs> it's all there. If, if you, okay. you if you piece it together and really listen to the music for the words for what it is, it's all there. Everything that I said was gonna happen, happen. Everything that I said I wanted to do, I've done. And there's the blueprint. The blueprint, literally, to me and my life and my journey is, is there already. Oh. Get, take the 500K. The albums is what? Uh, you, 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 he said you could download them now for like, for like whatever Spotify is or whoever's charging. But if you was right. to go and buy the app, go buy CDs back in the day, CDs was like $15.99 a pop. So he said, take the 500K. Yeah, the he said, take the 500K, yeah. and, and the blueprint is all right there. And I agree with that. I would, that's the same thing I said. A couple of people like, oh, I, I'll, take, I'll take dinner with Jay-Z and just sit there and just listen to, listen to uh, the, the wisdom, the, how, how he got to be a two-time billionaire and this, that, and the third. No! No, bro. <laughs> There's two ways no, of thinking. There's you, two you ways take of thinking. The <laughs> you take the five hundred k, and 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 yeah. you just going by the blueprint. That's just like what every. That's just like what it is now. If somebody was to say, "Hey, uh, trucking game with me, or a hundred or a hundred k," I, I'll take the hundred k. I'll take the yeah, hundred. I'll, I'll take the hundred k, and I won't be broke trying to buy your, uh, your 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 class, <laughs> your, blueprint. your blueprint. I won't be right. broke. I'm I'm going to take the hundred right. k, and then I'm going to double back to you, and pay you your what two hundred dollars for your class. That's that way. It's, it's, I will have the money. I will have the capital. And then at the same time, I can get your blueprint at the same time. Go. And you have a little money in your pocket, too. And it got you in the room. You're now in a room with the people that can help you double and triple your money. But you just having a conversation. I mean, hey, it's Jay-Z. Hey, what's up, Jay? He ain't talking about nothing but maybe what next Bugatti he about to buy with, with Beyonce or what next vacation he, you know, he ain't talking about nothing in that dinner. I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's 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 what it is, man. Everybody want everybody wants the blueprint, but nobody don't want to take the time to to study the blueprint. The blueprint is already there. The the blueprint. The, mm -hmm. Listen, y'all. I, I may not have said this before, but the blueprint is already there for trucking. It's it's already there. Yep. Y'all not. Y'all not listening. Y'all not. Y'all not looking. Y'all not. Y'all. Y'all not understanding. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I, a lot of you guys out there feel some kind of way about controversial company Super Ego, but just like Anonymous said, controversial company Super Ego is not the only company that's doing that. That's 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 quote unquote whipping truckers off. There's other companies that's doing that too. But you guys, right. you you guys want that instant gratification just like trucker will just said you want that instant gratification you want to you want to jump from the school and jump right into and jump right into a truck and jump right into a million dollars you're not going to do that you're not going to do that you're not nope. going to get you, this this industry right now the way it is it's not a get rich quit scheme it's not nope. maybe maybe at one point but it's definitely not now. So you got to take your time. Got to figure out what you want to do. You got to save up your money. Mm -hmm. You got to take your lumps. You got to you 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 got to learn and then maybe down that down that that road of trucking, maybe that one day when 
that opportunity opens up for you, just like uh, this with uh, Anonymous, that opportunity opened up for him. He took it. Mm -hmm. And that's how you got to play it. You got to play it just like that. You do. You can't, you can't rush success. Success loves speed, but you can't rush it because it will find you. Just be patient. Patience is a virtue. My grandmother used to say, patience is a virtue. Have that, and, you, and you'll be able to get through any challenge and tribulation that you got going on. But just don't rush it because when you, when you rush, you make mistakes. Hurry up and wait. That's, that's what we get told. But when you make when you rush, that's when you make mistakes. When you hurry up and back up too fast, it's when you hear a crunch or a cracker because you're rushing. Slow it down. Slow and steady wins the race. My my uh my boss tell me that all the time. Lock out. Just slow it down a little bit. I I I like your tenacity. I like your hustle. Just just slow it down just a little bit. Just just a little bit. I I still need you to get that load there on time, sir. But. <laughs> Just, 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 just take a couple of seconds off. That's that's all I need. That's okay. all I need, man. And people just need slow down a little bit. Yeah, people need that 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 type of advice, man. People need that type of advice. Look, just just slow it down. Just 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 be that sponge, man. Just if you happen to be in a room, if you happen to go to a controversial company, Super Ego. And you're in that in that front room that looks like a refugee camp. Just just sit there and just use your ears. Don't just just pay attention. Just just figure it out for yourself. Like hmm. And then you could say to yourself that is this the company that I think I could be successful with? Why y'all sitting there? Because you just like everybody else says, they they give their stories about what they see and everything. And I, like I said, they showed a video of what that room looks like. It looks like, looks like Wolf of Wall Street over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, wow, yo. so if if you honestly want to mess with Super Ego, I'm not gonna say do or don't. I, I'm I'm not gonna give my advice or nothing like that. If you wanna go and see if you can be successful with Super Ego, go ahead. That's what you do. You're a grown ass if man. You're gonna do what you wanna do. But when you get there. When you get there, just take the time and, and just listen and, and, and pay attention. And, and while at the same time, you say to yourself, hmm, is this the company I think I could be successful with? And if you answer that question, you get the right answer, then that's what you go with. Trucker Will, what's, what's, what's your last thoughts on everything, man? But he dumped your final semester when he realized he could be the next wolf of Wall Street. If you're going to go over, if Super Ego is, if you're going to go over, if Super Ego is your only option, first thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm making sure that I don't have to rely on them for anything but getting me my truck and getting me my trailer. Then I'm looking over that truck. Before I leave, I'm looking over everything, doing a proper pre-trip, making sure everything is legit, good, ready to rock and roll. Then also, I'm going in, I'm looking at people, you know, finding somebody that, you know, looks like they know what they're doing. You know, not anybody that's new. I'm looking at the drivers that's coming in and coming out. You know, Anonymous is, is in there. You're looking at your shirt. I'm aligning myself with him. I'm like, yo, Anonymous, let me let me chop it up with you. You know, what did you do? You know, you align yourself with the people that are successful over there. Do what they do. You know, you can they can be on YouTube, but, you know, try to get a hold of them outside of YouTube because everybody is different outside of their their YouTube personality. Everybody's different. But align yourself with somebody that looks like they know what they're doing and they can tell you how to how to run, you know, where to go, where the good freight is, you know, align yourself, watch videos, you know, watch videos of other drivers that are out here in the game that got some years, you know, um, be a sponge, learn, read, talk, you know, have conversations with other drivers out here in the game, you know, um, old school drivers, you, you, and you know what an old school driver looks like. He's got a Pete, long nose Pete, got the beard, belt buckle, got the plaid shirt with the, the, the cowboy boots. You know what he looks like. If he has a, if you can have a conversation with him in a few hours, he'll tell you. 
but align yourself with the right people so you can be successful. Don't align yourself with the people that look like deer in, in the headlights. Align yourself with the people that look like they got a determination and they got a drive, know where they want to go and how they want to get there. Align yourself with them and you'll be and you'll be successful. But just, you know, be patient and You'll get there. If you have to go there, okay, go there. But make sure you do your due diligence, due diligence on that truck before you take it off the lot. Tires need to be done. Mud flaps need to be done. Oil change, PMs, doors, windows, locks, not cracked, dead and broken, no braided bolts or cuts. Make sure everything is good before you, you take that truck off the road, out on the road. Make sure everything is, is solid because that truck is your home. That truck is your livelihood at that specific point. And you, you, I'm not going to put an unproven truck on the road unless I know that it's good, you know. That's just my last advice. I know I'm rambling a little bit, but, you know, that's just what it is. Trucker Will, I appreciate it very much that you coming on over here and uh, just having to sit down with me to top it up about controversial company Super Eagle. Big G's got it locked, boy. Aren't you